Okay, you guys, we're going to review the Japanese version of King Kong vs. Godzilla. This was released in 1962 by Toho. And this is what I call the first of the first film. What does that mean? This means this is the first film to do everything. This is the first film, first of two films featuring um, King Kong for Toho. This is the first time both Godzilla and King Kong have met up, not only in the first time, but also the first time they met up in color and in the widescreen format, as this was to celebrate Toho's 30th anniversary special. So, yeah, this, this film had a lot of firsts, okay? I'm reading off whatever else they got down here. But yeah, it is the most successful Godzilla film to date, costing them only 5 million or 5 year yen? 5 million yen? And grossing over 350 mil worldwide. Wow, that, that's awesome. <laughs> so, even though this is the first film of everything, this is both versions are completely weak. This is the weakest film in the Godzilla film series and King Kong film series. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain why. So basically the story takes off with Mr. Taco or Takio or Taco. I'm just going to call him Taco. T-A-K-O. Okay. He's the head of Pacific Pharmaceuticals, a television company that he owns. And ratings have not been the best for him and he's upset about it. So when he hears from another person that this island called Faro, Faro Island, holds this giant monster, he takes the opportunity for his own personal benefit to go and bring that monster back with them to Japan to gain ratings. It's all about the ratings, right? So, at the same time, an American sub in the um, Arctic, of course, it's a nuclear submarine, I think, um, full of Americans, of course. This, this is the first time, also, that you have Americans in a Japanese film. I don't count King Kong vs. Godzilla. I, this is the very first time Americans have been in a Japanese film. Not only have, are they speaking English, they have Japanese subtitles. We're used to, I'm so used to watching the Japanese movies reading subtitles from them. They gave the Americans subtitles in Japanese. So I thought that was pretty fucking awesome. So for the Japanese to understand what they're saying, they can read the little subtitles. They, instead of appearing at the bottom, they'll appear like on the side of the screen, like how I'm doing right now. That, that was pretty cool. So, they're sell selling. They're going towards an um, iceberg, which nobody, forget, nobody never told them about a few years ago that they froze Godzilla in that very same spot. And when the submarine becomes lodged in the iceberg, Godzilla is free and basically destroys the submarine and once he reaches land he destroys an entire military base that was fucking awesome Godzilla's pissed off and I'm a little bit pissed off because let me, now I'm explaining why I'm a little bit pissed off at this movie they weakened the characters this film was directed by Ashiro Honda who directed the original film okay this is the second Godzilla film where the costume looks horrible so Godzilla raids again and King Kong vs. Godzilla is two. I believe there's four. But we'll get to those when I get to them. The characters are weak. King Kong needs lightning. That's right, no, lightning in the sky. To make him stronger so he can fight better. What? God, the original Godzilla in 1954 got shot by 10,000 volts of electricity. He walked right through it, no problem. He even destroyed the fucking lines. This is only a thousand volts. I read the subtitles. A thousand volts of electricity. And this Godzilla only did his arm in it and backed off like a little pussy. And went around. Are you sick? You weakened the two best characters in monster history? For what purpose? purpose does Godzilla have running from electricity? Godzilla should be walking like right through that motherfucker like he did in the first one like what is this? This ain't shit. Bring it. Okay? So basically when King Kong and Godzilla meet up for the first time Godzilla I guess you could say wins just by breathing fire and King Kong doesn't like to be burned so he just walked away with his head like this like a little pussy. So that was pretty cool. 
because you know I gotta vote for Godzilla all the way so because Godzilla is my favorite I grew up on him so yeah so after they go after, after Taco and his crew arrives on the island of course they find Godzilla not Godzilla King Kong um captive like he was in the original 32 ver 33 version of course and he gets free when a giant octopus attacks the village and he basically go handles that and it's awesome this is also the ugliest King Kong suit ever the 32 version 33 version looked better than that than this <laughs> so yeah so once they um, put King Kong to sleep they put him on a raft and send him back to Japan unfortunately for them he wakes up in the middle of his transfer and they blow the raft but he comes to the town anyway at the same time Godzilla is also attacking almost in the same area and basically what happens is they try and get them both in the same area so I guess they both can fight or something like that and when they do it's pretty cool cool you get the, the actual good fight scene even though it's kinda lame because King Kong is weak Godzilla's kicking his ass and then all of a sudden when the lightning comes King Kong is kicking Godzilla's ass I'm like you couldn't make this the neutral fight where both are just animals fighting each other you have to make it give them their own personal street strengths and weaknesses Godzilla's weakness being electricity when he walked directly right through it in the fucking first film even though I know this is the second Godzilla film, I mean the second Godzilla created, but still, he doesn't have to be that fucking weak. I mean, come on, seriously. Ugh, I, I, I can't, I, I can't tell you how much I despise these films. I don't hate King Kong vs. Godzilla. This film could have been a lot better than what we got. I mean, a lot fucking better. The ending was kind of a cop out. If you know, if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. I hated the ending to this movie because it just leaves you wondering, like, what the fuck? The only message you get is, let animals be animals. Don't try and force them to do stuff they don't want to do, or some shit like that. I, I, at the end, at the end of this movie, I didn't really give a shit. And that's sad for a King Kong versus Godzilla movie. This is why I say this movie needs to be remade, and it needs to be remade right. Fuck electricity and making King Kong stronger. King Kong should be a, be able to whoop ass anyway. Fuck giving Godzilla weaknesses. Godzilla should be a fucking brute. I mean, the H-bomb for crying out loud, dude. Seriously. A Shiro Honda, man. What? What the fuck? Ugh. I give the Japanese version of King Kong vs. Godzilla a C+. Plus. I, uh, could have been a lot better. Let me know what you guys think about King Kong vs. Godzilla down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? It's time to talk about the American one. Oh boy. Which is the one I saw first when I was younger, so... I'm more used to the American version. This is the first time i actually seen the Japanese cut. So, yeah. it's a lot of first going on today. So, yeah, I'm out.